Hello again, ACPC kids. It's good to see you. I have more experimenting with art. I've been stuck at home like you have been, so I bought some things and had them sent to my house. I'm gonna pan the camera down so you can see what I bought. I bought a new watercolor palette. I bought some watercolor brush marker pens. And I already had these at my house. These are watercolor pencils. Uh, and they do something a little different. So we're gonna experiment with all these things today. I'm gonna show you what you might do with them. Uh, again, you can always do whatever you want. It's really good to have some water and a brush because you might wanna experiment with what happens. And a paper towel is a really good thing to have around. So the first thing I'm gonna try is using just my regular watercolors. I have watercolor paper because it's nice and heavy. It absorbs water really well. Uh, these are little papers, they're postcard sized. Your grown-ups can get them lots of places online. Uh, you can try it on regular paper, but it doesn't absorb water as well. Uh, so I'm, gonna, I'm excited to try my new watercolor set. Look at all those really fun colors I have. Uh, and they give you a little place where you can mix them. I will show you that part. They just give you this. This is like a little container. So I can take, I can make a new color by taking, let's say I take a little green. I'm gonna put it here. But let's say I want that green to be darker. So I can take some blue, wet that, mix it in here, and make a brand new color. Right on my little palette there. So watercolors are a really fun thing to do. You always have, you wanna change colors? Gotta wash your brush. It's good to have paper towel again, cause then you can dry it a little bit, just a little bit, so you can get your next color ready. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of orange. I don't know what I'll do here. Oh, that's nice. But there's so many things you can do just by wetting the color. You can even go over top of another color and change it. That was yellow I put over top of green and it changed the way the colors look now. Don't know if you can see that. Kind of. Lots of things you can make with watercolor. But it's good to have the right kind of paper that's heavy enough and a good brush to use. It helps you. I think that's my favorite color right there out of all these. So that's one thing you can do is just use regular watercolors. This one comes with a brush that has water in it, which I haven't tried yet, uh, but that might be my next experiment. So that's one thing you can do. The next product I have to show you, I think let's do watercolor pencils next. I'm just getting my brush ready. Another piece of paper. The fun thing about watercolor pencils, this box has two whole trays of colors in it. And the thing about watercolor pencils is you can draw and you can wet it. So I'm just gonna do some coloring. I'm gonna color some blue. My favorite color green. Let's get a little green in there. Maybe I'll do a little purple. Now, you see I've got blue, green, purple. What happens if I put some water on top of them with my brush? Because they're watercolor pencils, they're a special kind of pencil, it changes when I do that. It turns it into paint. You see that on the green, how it's changing? So you can use your brush. You can even mix colors together by doing this. See how that changed when I did water on top of it? The other great thing is that you can draw and still have your lines 
just for, and you can also go right over top with a colored. Oh my gosh, look at that! I just tried the colored pencil on top of the wet, and look what happened. It drew lines over the color. So you can still keep your lines. Maybe I'll make a little kitty here. I made a little kitty. I don't know if you can see that face of the kitty. But if you take your brush and go over top and color, the colors will get smudged and now the kitty's all colored in. If you can see that. And this is a good time to have your uh, paper towel nearby because when you get too much water, you just put it on top. Oh. So it took off some of the color. It will also take off color. So if you're not sure you liked what you did, you can put a little water on top of it. Here's your paper towel. Oh my gosh. It erased it. You see that spot where it isn't there anymore? The color came up because I used a paper towel on it. So you can experiment with watercolor pencils and paper towel and a brush and some water and see what happens. So that's another thing you can do with watercolors. The last thing I have to show you are my brand new markers that I haven't even tried yet. I'm gonna have to see how they work. So I'm gonna get one more piece of paper One more piece of watercolor paper. Nice, heavy watercolor paper works best. You can try a different kind of paper, but I actually don't have any other kind of paper at my house. I think I have some construction paper someplace, but that doesn't work so well, and it's colored already. And here come my incredible watercolor brushes. I'm so excited to try these. I've never tried them before. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna keep my paper towel nearby because I might need it. All right, Ooh, let's try a little purple on this one. So it's got a cap just like a regular marker. And when you're done with it, if you want to keep it fresh, you can't just leave your caps around just like a regular marker. You got to put the cap back on. So off comes the cap. When you put it back on, usually you have to hear it snap. Hear that sound? It has to snap or else it's not back on. If you put it on and you just balance it, it's not going to hold the ink in. Not gonna hold that watercolor and keep it keep it fresh. So you always want to hear it snap. All right, here's the uh, this one is purple. You can tell by the color right there. It tells you what color it is. Oops, there you go. Now you can see right there. There's the color. And then I'm gonna try. Ooh, I have not tried these at all. Oh, I just shake it up a little bit to get the ink to go down in. So I'm gonna make some lines purple lines. Wow. This is really fun. All right. I'm going to put the cap back on that. And maybe I'm going to do, ooh, let's see. Little turquoise. There's my turquoise marker. Let's add that in. I'm going to shake it up a little bit to get the color to go down. Oh, that's like Elsa frozen blue. Awesome. Oh, if you go back and forth like a brush. So it has a little brush tip, little thin brush tip, just like a regular brush. If you smush it, then the, the bristles get all fuzzy and they don't work so well. So you just gentle, gentle, make your lines. If you don't feel it coming out, shake it up a little bit. It'll come out some more. Now, this is what I'm excited to try. I'm gonna try seeing what happens if I put water on top of it. Snap that cap back on. Uh, let me add a little, one more color, just for fun. Uh, let me add, ooh, that's a fun color. Let's see, add a little bit of this light pink. Just gonna do it all around. Shake it up if it doesn't come out well. And then let's see what happens if I put a brush on top of it that's wet. I'm gonna take my brush, wet my brush. My water's a little dirty from the last project, but that's okay. And what happens if 
I, oh, Good. can you see what's happening? See how it's changing? It's mixing the colors together. Now I might want to leave some of my lines, but not all of them. Wow. So it's changing. Lots of things you can do with this. You can also take your paper before you even start and make your paper wet with your brush. So let's see what happens if I draw over the wet. I'm gonna make my paper really, really wet on the side here. Super wet, lots of water on it. And let's see what happens if I add, let's put a color we can see, uh, a different color. Let's see what happens if I add green right to it. Don't know what's gonna happen. Get my green ready. Oh, that green's not dark enough. Let's try a darker one. Can't see it very well. Try a nice dark green. Come on out, dark green. Well, it makes the color a lot softer if you do it on the wet paper with these special brushes. I haven't worked with them very much. Oh, there comes some more color. Let's see what happens now. Oh, that's better. Maybe I just have to shake my brush up. Can you see that? Probably not very well. There we go. Now you can see what's happening. Look at all the different colors I got with that. Lots of different ways you can do it. So you have three things you can try. You can try regular watercolors that are dry and you need to wet them. You can try watercolor pencils that you can use dry or wet. And you can try watercolor brushes. See what happens when you try that. Uh, if you want to send me your art, I'd love to get pictures of what you've been trying and experimenting and see what you discovered with it. Uh, you can try it a different way than I tried. You might have some other things that you could do. If you have no watercolors at your house, you can use food coloring. It works too. So try some things out. Let me know what you think. I will see you next time. Have fun experimenting. Bye. I miss you.